In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the dodge and burn tools, or rather alternatives to the dodge and burn tools for brightening and darkening an image. So on the left hand side, we have the dodge, burn, and sponge tools. These are O on your keyboard. And unfortunately, we won't be using these in this class because they actually are destructive. They only work on one layer. They can't do the sample all layers for whatever particular reason. I'm not sure why Adobe decided to do that, but I have to select a layer have it rasterized and then I can use the dodge and burn tools. So right now I'm lightening the image. Now this is a really great tool, but like I said, it's destructive. If I keep going, I'm not going to be able to undo what I'm doing to this. And I always want to be able to undo that. So instead, there's actually a really simple way to create a kind of dodge and burn layer and use our paintbrush tool to do the exact same thing that the dodge and burn tools do. So we're going to start by making a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer and name this dodge and burn. And I'm going to do a fill command on this layer. Now we've done a fill command a few times in the past, but just as a reminder, you hold down shift and press delete and it brings up the fill dialog menu. I'm going to choose 50% gray from this contents, normal, opacity 100%, say OK. So what this has done is it's made a new layer that is entirely 50% gray. Let's go ahead and change its blend mode, this is here, to overlay. Now if you remember, overlay ignores 50% gray and only takes the darkest and the brightest areas. So it's a way to enhance contrast whenever you're working with an image. So in this case, having it on overlay mode, we actually won't see anything. See, there's no difference with the dodge and burn layer because it's full 50% gray and overlay ignores 50% gray. So there's nothing here. Let's go ahead and go to our brush tool. I just have a standard soft brush. I can change the size and the softness if I'd like. And so far we've been working with 100% opacity brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down to like, let's start at 50% just to see what that looks like. Now I have white and black selected down here. I'm gonna paint with white and see what happens. Look, it's the exact same as that dodge tool that we used before. As I use the white, it enhances the contrast and it lightens the area. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Let's go ahead and turn this opacity down a little bit more. I'm gonna do like 10%. So as I paint with this, I'm just painting in white on this 50% gray layer. See, it's starting to lighten it more and more. If I wanna darken it, I could simply tap X to switch to black as my foreground color. Do the same thing. This is totally non-destructive. I'm not doing anything that's going to permanently harm my image. And it samples all the layers. So if I think that this rock should be darker, I just simply use the black brush and I'm just clicking and releasing to make it a little bit darker. Let's say I think that this should be darker in the background and do the same thing. If I want it to be lighter, I just tap X to switch to white and do the same thing. So again, that was by making a new layer, filling it with 50% gray, changing it to overlay, and then using black and white. This layer actually looks like this right now. See, we're kind of painting these sort of soft areas. And by using overlay, we're artificially dodging and burning it without having to use this destructive tool.